You do you, boo. Cheers to that. Morning, um, morning ritual. My two chocolate digestive buttons. Buttons. Look at me getting all hot and flustered because I'm filming when Connor's in the room. Yeah, I could tell well that you're not used to it. Guys, today's the first time. Is it ever, boo? I think it is. What? The first time ever that I'm letting Connor stay in the room with me. I filmed a video on my own. Mm. Still give me butterflies, dear, after all these years. Sure, you want me in here? Pretty sure, boo. Just got to let me warm up. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, but with all my clicking as well. Yeah, Con's doing work in the background, Angels. He's working on something super special for you guys coming out soon. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Hint, hint. Do you know what I mean? Hashtag busy bee guide. Hashtag we're all going to get ripped together. Hashtag we're going to get fucking... Oh, <sighs> Excited, I? Yeah, you did. Look at me just finishing my digestive biscuits. Guys, this is the real how I get ready. Do you know what I mean? Get ready for a couple of digestive biscuits and a cup of tea. Mm. So, official hello, angels. Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be doing a get ready with me, and it's going to be a real, real one. Do you know what I mean? Like, real, just chatty. Like, say, for example, I was going to put on a nice top. I was gonna actually do concealer on a couple of these baddies before we got going, but I thought no. Do you know what I mean now? You're on YouTube. For realness. Do you know what I mean, Con? That's why yeah, I put boo. myself out there. Do you know You're what I real. mean? I'm real. You're I'm real. loyal, boo. I'm loyal. We are just gonna get ready for the day today. Uh, a lot of you guys have been asking me for a get ready with me. I don't really know why because... Boo, I just don't feel like my makeup routine is anything that special. But you know, you've got to give the people what they want, boo. By the way, what we're thinking of my new hair, I got it done on Tuesday and... Not enjoying it, I'm, No, I'm really not. Um, I basically said to my hairdresser, I was like, I don't want bleach anymore. Like, I don't want... Well, I didn't say that. I said, I don't want to have, like, full white hair anymore. Do you know when I went through that little phase? I, like, literally had, like, bleach hair. Enjoy that. You enjoyed that phase. Me and Con had a nickname for me. What was it? Ultra. Ultra. I was ultra superhero girl. And that was my name because okay. I had white hair. So I was like, I just want to break it up a little bit. I still wanted to be like really blonde. Um, but I think she just got too much of the emphasis that like I kind of wanted it to be broken up a little bit. So she put brown through my hair, but it looks like an awful lot of brown. It doesn't really look as bad, I feel like when i have my hair up but when it's down it doesn't look super dark boo it just doesn't look like me it's not ultra it's not ultra so i'm going through a bit of a phase at the moment with that a bit upset but you know i'm gonna give it a few washes see what happens if it starts to fade fab uh if it doesn't do you know what i mean we'll be going back to the hairdressers anyway let's start getting ready okay so i actually just went to Superdrug and bought this now this is the maybelline baby skin instant pore eraser primer i'm really trying to get into primer and skincare and everything at the moment. I tried this on my hand in the shop and it was so nice. So let's see what it's actually gonna be like on my skin. Guys, I've actually got a little special guest just popping in for a second. Angels. Oh, oh Christ, are you a bit big for this little section of the room, aren't you? Angels, I wanna stay in the room and keep you guys company with ours, but I'm making too much noise. He thinks he's making too much noise. So I have to love you and leave you. Been a pleasure. Enjoy the video. Make sure it's a good one else. See you on Sunday. Well, in other news, Angels, I really, really am a fan of that primer so far. Let's hope it makes my foundation look good. So we don't get us clicking anymore, but we do get us singing. We're all hashtag blessed. Okay, before I start my actual makeup, um, let's just put it out there. It's incredibly random, Angels. I don't really have like a cool af makeup collection i'm not a beauty guru i'm not a makeup artist i wish i was throughout my life as you will probably know if you're an older angel i like never really use high-end stuff i've never really been into it apart from when we went to australia and i basically was brainwashed by sephora and spent like too much money in there so some of the stuff i have is like kind of random you'd be like oh my god ellie why do you have a tart bronzer but you know what i mean like a primark lip liner like what's going on there and i'm just here to say i don't really know either foundation i like to use the giorgio armani luminous silk foundation for ages um when i was going through really bad kind of hormonal acne breakouts i wanted something really really full coverage and i always used to use the l'oreal infallible foundation and it was incredible like it was so full coverage but unfortunately i do feel like it 
almost added to my acne a lot of you guys said like i had major skin problems when i was using that stuff um and i used to use the georgia on my foundation when i was young when i was at uni i mean look at me now i'm an old girl and for some reason i just thought i was like a big baller with my student loan and i just was like no do you know what i'm not gonna use georgia on anymore i'm gonna just like buy loads of other foundations for really no reason and but honestly i have never loved a foundation more than I have the Giorgio Armani one. So I'm using um, my Fenty Beauty Blender, again, which I got from Sephora in Australia. It's so soft. I mean, you don't even really need to wet it. That's what the girl in Sephora told me, but do you know what I mean? Like, who doesn't wet the Beauty Blender? Because <laughs> I do. And just in case I'm asked, my foundation shade in the Giorgio Armani foundation is shade number seven. And that might look a bit dark for me right now. I'm not sure how that's really picking up on camera. I do tend to go for darker shades in foundation because like nine times out of 10, I have fake tan on, especially when I'm like bothering to wear makeup. Do you know what I mean? It's not often that I actually do wear makeup. I would say I only sort of wear makeup literally when I'm filming. Um, other than that, I don't really ever have an excuse because I don't really ever have a social life. So yeah, that's why if you do think my foundation shade is probably a little bit darker, I haven't really fake tan too much, which is silly of me, but there we go. Okay, moving on. I am gonna cover up a couple of these blemishes over here. Um, and I have two different concealers that I use. The first one that I use for all of my blemishes is the Becca Cosmetics Aqua Luminous Perfecting Concealer. And I got shade light, although it doesn't say it on here anymore, but I, I'm pretty sure it is shade light. No fair i don't know i'll write in the description box no maybe it wasn't actually because this one was to match my skin tone so maybe this was medium mm, it's a mystery angels i just like to put this over any blemishes i have because the georgia armani foundation like as much as i love it it isn't really like super full coverage i feel like i didn't blend out some of my foundation over here so let's just do that this concealer is um apparently really good to use on blemishes and stuff because it's so hydrating do you know when like you have a spot and you put concealer on it and then it like literally like dries out the spot there and then and you're like oh my god that's too much like what the hell has happened oh my god i had a really big nightmare last night just remembered this omg do you ever have like a dream and it's about somebody else and then like you fully know it was a dream but then like it kind of changes your opinion on that person that was in the dream i had a dream last night that a, like a another youtuber did a video on me like completely like ripping me to shreds like just taking the mick and stuff and um i remember being so upset and it was like oh such a big deal in my head and now i feel like i'm low-key scared of this youtuber because i don't want that i'm weird do you know what i mean then my second concealer that i like to use for sort of contouring is the collection lasting perfection concealer and this one is in fair as you can see there. Yeah, oh my god, let's not look at my nails. That was embarrassing. Totally forgot that I need to get them done. Although, can we just check out these three? Look at them. These are my real nails, right, people? Um, oh god, Ellie, I've just said I don't want to show you them. So why are you literally doing like a full set there on the camera? I did an Instagram live the other day. <laughs> Shameless plug. If you don't follow me, why the hell not, girl? Go on, follow me. It's the best time of your life. Like, it's gonna be your new favorite Instagram account, okay? No, it's definitely not, but there we go. Hashtag fashion inspo, hashtag life inspo, hashtag you do either inspo. You know what? I've literally completely forgotten what I was doing. Oh, I know. Talking about my nails. <laughs> okay, not that anyone cares. When I was doing Instagram live the other day, somebody asked me what I do with my nails. And I always used to get acrylics, but then, oh my God, everybody, like my nails were just in such awful condition. And I hated having to have like acrylic set after acrylic set after acrylic set because I couldn't cope with the fact that like my nails were in such bad condition so I couldn't have no acrylics on them do you know what I mean so uh when we were in Australia I just thought oh screw it do you know what I mean I'm gonna try out gels and I have literally been like inseparable from drip dr uh, uh, from gels ever since I just feel like it's really sick nail varnish and it makes your nails so strong i would never ever have been able to grow my nails to that length but now i'm kind of missing acrylics do you know what i mean just it's such a hard decision i feel like in winter acrylics are like better do you know what i mean because whatever i'm literally I, sometimes i just literally catch myself chatting rubbish i haven't eaten my other digestive biscuit what is wrong with me okay once my concealer is all blended out um i then go in with my laura mercier translucent powder which is something i picked up last weekend and i have literally been obsessed with it like when i showed you guys in the last vlog 
what's wrong with me today that i had picked this up you were all like oh my god ellie like that is literally is going to change your life and i'm like girl <laughs> Mm, tell me about it. So I just had to get some more my beauty blender and then I put it under my eyes like this and I like to blend it out sort of um, in a few minutes. Okay, we're hashtag baking because we're like a cake. Caking on that makeup boo. Do you know what I mean? And then I also just like dot a little bit in the areas that I get greasy. Hmm. I look at me right now, but we're gonna sort it out. Do you know what I mean? Like we're the caterpillar at the moment We're about to become a beautiful butterfly and everyone's gonna be like girl How did you get that look and I'm gonna be like you have to go through the tough times before you can get to the good times Okay, so something you can't all judge me on is my makeup brush collection Like we can tell by looking at my makeup brush collection. I'm not a pro like it is Super obvious. I'm like Connor bought me these makeup brushes at Christmas time and I don't know what the name of them are. If anybody actually has a good recommendation of like a set of makeup brushes, I don't mind paying good money for them, then can you please tell me in the comments below, like, you know, Morphe, is that a brand? I think I've heard of that before. Spectrum, I know I've heard of Spectrum. But anyway, for my bronzer, oh, this is obviously from Primark because it says PS dot 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 on it. Ha <laughs> wrapping. This is like a massive brush angled don't know. For bronzer, I'm using the Tarte Park Ave Princess. That's me. I'm a, I'm a Park Ave Princess. And then I kind of just place this on my cheekbone quite kind of vaguely and also on my temples of my forehead just to give a little bit of a bronzy look. Do you know what I mean? I'm not going to try and use all these technical terms, guys, because I'm not an MUA, right? As I keep reiterating. Okay, Ellie, like, people are getting bored of that sentence now. And also put some on my neck. And then for contouring, I go in with a smaller brush. This was literally just from Superdrug. I got it literally the other day. It's a blush slash contour brush. Um, and I use the Collection Contour Kit Highlight and Sculpt. To be honest, this is, like, not really a huge essential of mine. The other day, I just wanted to kind of up my contouring game and... I realised I didn't sort of have like a darker brown shade to contour with that was darker than my bronzer. Um, so I just ran over to Superdrug and this was like the sort of closest thing I had to in my head. I don't use the highlighter so I can't really relate with that but I do like the contour um, powder. And then with this I'm just a little bit more sort of careful with it. Although I am still blending up. Before we sort of blend out the Laura Mercier powder, I'm going to go in with my Studio Fix powder by MAC. And this is in shade NC25. And if I do have any like really sort of strong, like bright red sort of spots or blemishes on my skin, I like to just go over that again with this powder because I feel like it, this is like really full coverage. Not really sure how well that primer's done, to be completely honest. I can still see a lot of my pores, do you know what I mean? Wouldn't exactly say I've got baby skin. Rude, false marketing, it's all a lie. Blending out the powder. If you guys don't mind that I'm doing to get ready with me, do you know what I mean? I don't want this to be like a claim, oh my god, Ellie Darby is now turning into a makeup channel because as we can all clearly see, I'm not. Okay, let's go in to brows. So I'm actually gonna pick up this brand new I got from Revolution. It was like literally like three pounds, I think, which was so good. Usually I use um, one from a brand called HD Brows because my friend Emily is a brow artist and that's the brand that she works with for all of her products for her clients. She got me one of the eyebrow pencils and I really love it, but I'm currently out of it. So just for the video, I ran and got this one and I've never used it, obviously. As we can all see, Ellie Darby has zero eyebrow game naturally. Like, oh my God. Me and my sisters have literally no eyebrow game. Like it's just not in our genetics, sadly. Okay, I'm kind of nervous because this is like a bit of an oddly shaped, do you know what I mean? It's like triangle on okay do you know what i'm getting a bit scared of doing my eyebrows like this everybody so i'm gonna have to sit up there with my hollywood mirror and um actually do this in a legit way because otherwise do you know what i mean the brows aren't really gonna be too fleeky yo yo boo what we saying i mean i don't really think it's like too bad okay everyone's gonna be like any like what have you done after i've actually filled in my eyebrows you'll notice i've really not been too careful do you know what i mean they kind of still do look a bit messy i like to go in <laughs> Listen, I don't know why I keep saying that, like I'm not going in anywhere. I always use my MUA concealer kit, which if you've been a day one angel, you will know this has been like, okay, in my makeup bag since like 1953. Um, I just take like a flat concealer brush and then I just sort of like carve out 
my eyebrows to make them a little bit neater underneath. And I just say as well a massive thank you for all the love on the big hips video, how to style big hips that I did on Tuesday. It was a video that I really, really put a lot of hard work into and like you guys don't even know how long I was sort of preparing that video and when it actually came down to like filming the video um I think it kind of turned out a little bit random but a lot of you guys seem to really have liked it and that just means the world to me because it's a topic that is honestly so close to my heart like I just really really am so grateful that I know that it helped a few girls out at the moment I'm really trying to make a really sort of big conscious effort to listen to you guys and what you want to see rather than just sort of like uploading random videos and it's like this video like i would never really have thought to do a get ready with me but just because a lot of um people have been requesting it recently i thought no i'm gonna do one and i just want to say as well i have had a lot of requests for doing vlogs at the moment because if you look back on sort of my most recent videos i haven't really been vlogging too much i try to do a vlog like maybe once a week or at least every two weeks but all i can say to you right now is for the next maybe three or four weeks or so it's not really going to be too vlog based but don't worry because like part way sort of through the next month or so you're going to be having a hell of a lot of vlogs like a hell of a lot of vlogs and i have a feeling that they're your favorite kind of vlogs as well and that's as much as i'm gonna say you know if i sort of go a little bit quiet um at all across any social media platforms then please just know like i'm absolutely fine i'm just really busy with a couple of things going on in our personal life but as soon as like i am ready and everything is ready like i'm gonna be coming back with a bang and it, it's gonna be with all of your favorite sort of videos as well i'm really 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 excited to tell you guys oh one sec hey boo Hey babe, you right? Yeah, you hun. And we are back in the room. I often get loads of questions about what eyeshadow I use. I don't actually ever really use eyeshadow. The only thing I do use is the same um, collection sculpting powder. Just a massive blending brush and I just sort of put that in my crease to sort of feel like I have done something with my eyes. Obviously, as you guys can see, I have eyelash extensions. Um, if anybody's wondering, I get them done at Emerald Florence Salon in Trowbridge. They're literally the best. It's an absolutely gorgeous salon and if anyone is local to the area then it's by the sort of like next boots area if you know what i mean and then finally for highlighter i do have a few favorite highlighters as we all know i'm like highlights biggest fan top three favorite at the moment i've tried to include like a variety of prices if you are willing to pay a little bit more for highlighters these are my two absolute favorites this one is kind of more like a pinky tone this is the becca cosmetics in color royal glow this was their release for the royal wedding and then my second favorite one is the iconic london one probably the best one if you're on holiday and then if you want to just go down to super and get one i recommend getting the sleek makeup lighting palette in solstice so today i'm just going to use the becca cosmetics one with a little fan brush and just put that along my cheekbone i lost some on my nose and above my cupid's bow and then also i'll just take my finger and put some in the corner of my eye and also just underneath my eyebrow moving on to lips i do have a new absolute must-have fave at the moment lip liner i kind of feel gross so i'm still using this pencil i definitely need a new one this is from primark and it's the coffee shade and it's like quite a dark nude color and then my new addition everyone has been asking me recently what i'm wearing on my lips and this is always it the maybelline superstay matte ink like liquid lipstick sort of stuff and it's in color number 55 which is driver mm. Mm -mm -mm. it just brings the entire look together i'm just a big fan of it okay that is like my everyday makeup done if i'm gonna wear a full face of makeup that's kind of what i'll go for hope you guys liked it do you know what i'm actually gonna like kind of sort my hair out and put a decent top on so it actually looks like i'm going out <laughs> even though i'm not angels can i just say something to you for one second this better be your favorite channel boo this better be your favorite video i've ever made because i am about to treat you all to something do you know what I mean? Something special, basically, put it that way. I thought to finish off, we could do a little mini tutorial on how to do the hair bun that I've been doing for the last, like, 10 hundred videos. My sister taught me this hairstyle when we were in Benador. Um, I literally thought it was going to be, like, something so hard to do. It is literally so easy. All you need is two little crocodile clips that look like this. Ideally, they would be clear, especially if you have blonde hair. But unfortunately, Primark didn't have any clear ones. Um... So, you know, I'm gonna sue. You know what I mean? Expect a lawsuit, Primark. What you wanna do is obviously just get your hair in a parting and then kind of just like 
uh, okay i don't know the technical terms as usual but like just kind of brush all your hair back with your fingers and you want to make sure that you have two bits down the side but not like a huge chunk of hair like literally just the front bits here because they're going to come in handy later on like that and just kind of like messily sort of grab it all together and then you're going to take one of the crocodile clips here and go around the back of your hair and bunch it around the group of hair but still make sure you keep your hand at the front here as you can see and then you just kind of roughly put it around so it kind of looks a little bit messy but at the same time quite posh take the other crocodile clip and then just secure that at the back and then with the two bits at the front just take your curling wand this is my absolute must have curling wand ever it's a seven in one curling wand by foxy locks um it comes with loads of different heads this is probably my favorite head but it does also come with this one which is like gives you sort of more like a crimped look if you know what i mean because it's really tight and then i just like to oh christ wrap it round the other one ready 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 we're nearly there for the big reveal angels let that one drop leave them looking real tight for a minute we're gonna pop some hoops in to complete the look and then i never sort of actually like brush the curls out but i just sort of run my fingers through them a couple of times to calm them down that is it yay as easy as that angels i've literally had so many requests on how to do that and um i really hope that helps if you do this hairstyle let me know send me a dm tag me in your hair bun picture boo i would absolutely love to see it uh that's gonna go ahead and conclude the video my angels i really hope you guys enjoyed it i feel like it's a big video that you guys have been asking for for a little while so hope it lived up to expectations boo love you guys so much have a fab bank holiday weekend don't forget the next upload is gonna be on sunday me and connor have a real fun video planned for you which i think you guys are gonna love because again it's a really highly requested one at the moment love you guys so much and we'll see you in the next video bye